Welcome back to Mass Appeal, everybody. Uh, I don't know if you're like me, but if you look at my computer desktop right now, it's kind of like this uh, this table right here. It's filled with pictures and files and miscellaneous stuff. So how do you organize it? That's a big question here to tell us how. We have Rick Woods, this gentleman right here. He's a professional organizer, the functional organizer. That's your website and all that good stuff. So how do we do it? How do we get it clean? Okay, well, the big thing is you want to try to find a simple way to get all these files together so you can find them quickly and easily. So mm -hmm. you get an email from a friend. They want you to send you a file that, that you've had for a few months that you worked on. Mm -hmm. And you named it. You don't remember what you named it. You no stored idea. it somewhere in your computer. You have no idea where it is. Yes. You go to the search Reading function. You, right you type in whatever the, the name is, and it doesn't come up. You're like, mm -hmm. what was it? What was the name? Okay. And you, you're trying to rack your brain, you're trying to figure it out. Let's make it simple. Let's use our desktop. A okay. lot of people, a lot of professionals out there say, you know, don't use your desktop because you can make it messy. But I say, you know what? If you have a few folders on there and nothing else, yeah. and everything's inside those folders. That's a great point. And you're, and you're I ready know to go. Your yeah. computer can't look like this picture that we have right here. Exactly. Uh, but you can certainly so. try and you can do it by kind of making it work for yourself. Correct. Now, Correct. how do we get started? So the first thing you said is create those personal folders. What do we want to name them? Okay, so we have one for you, Seth, right? Oh, thank you very much. So we'll call that Seth. Yes. There we go. And, and now these there's going to be activities that you have in your life, right? Folders. Yeah. So your dog, yep. Rollins, Rollins, right? And he's got so a lot of. That'll be know, a folder below that folder. He gets vet emails, he gets paperwork. I have uh, more pictures than I have exactly. of my whole family of that dog. So. Exactly. And you're going to have another folder, work. Work, which right? is huge. So that'll go below there as well under your. Under your name file. So these are all subfolders in subfolders my subfolders folder. within your folders. So you have your personal folder, and then your subfolders, which will be your subject folders. And then vacation, right? Nice, you like yeah. take vacations. I'm you going might going next week. There you go. So you have a little file there for your vacations. Baseball, mm -hmm. support you're into. And then we have taxes. Coming up. We all have to oh, do them, right? No, right. That reminds <laughs> so, me. So all these files will accommodate all the files that are here. So all these the folders will hold these files. Okay. So you put the Start loading them up, right? Mm -hmm. One by one. One by one. And all goes away. And all goes away. So we'll have a clean desktop. And you're going to go through the files. There may be some that you don't need. You can throw them in the trash. That's true. They may not be relevant to you anymore. I think another important thing is the way that we save our files. Uh, I used to, you know, my contacts in my phone, for example, I used to get cute, give people nicknames. Five years later, don't remember who any of these people are yeah. in my phone. So I think it's all about uh, labeling the documents really well too. Yeah, label. That's what it's all about. So now, when, once you create this system, right, and you're good to go, and everything's filed, everything's got a folder, you take all these folders and you stick them inside your personal folder. And then everyone who uses that computer or is a member of the household has their own folder. Exactly. So your wife would have her own folder and all her activities things that she's related to. Now here's my question because when you come on and you're talking about not full, uh, not you know the the fake world, we're talking about the real world, you always say throw out clutter, go over it. How often should we go through our computer files? Oh, we can go through at least once a month. That's, okay. That's a good strategy. That's I mean that's 12 times a year which is a lot. That's true. I mean, if you can do it once every two months that's good too but if you can get in the habit of doing it once every month you're gonna have a lot less clutter on your desktop. That's true. We all need that because if you looked at, if don't go into my office right now because it's a mess. Rick, <laughs> always a it. pleasure having you here. You Thank stop. you so much. There's seven tips on our website mymassappeal.com of ways to make your e-life a little bit cleaner also.